Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be an embarrassingly huge spring, spring, spring transitional haul slash. Over the last few weeks I've accumulated a hell of a lot of stuff. Most of it bought myself, some of it gifted. Obviously I will mention everything that's been gifted and usually I wouldn't include kind of PR samples or gifted items but there are so many amazing pieces that I just really wanted to show you because otherwise unless you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't is at our next door, then you might never see these pieces. And you need to see these pieces. So, because I have such an embarrassingly large amount of stuff, I just need to get going. Because if I waffle for any longer, this video is actually going to be five hours long. And not even my mum's going to want to watch that. Okay, I'm going to start off with this dress first of all. This dress is by my friend Lorna, Lorna Lux. And it's her part of her collaboration with In The Style. You guys know, if you've seen my pictures of the Sarah Ashcroft suits, which I wear all the bloody time, the Kermit the Frog one and then the blue one, I absolutely love their like blog collaborations. They always do an amazing job. But Lorna's is just incredible. The print of this dress is stunning. It originally comes in the blue, which is very like Lisbon tile vibes. And I actually think that Oh, I can't choose a favourite. I can't choose a favourite. I don't own the blue. I was only ever going to buy one. Um, and I went for this and it's absolutely beautiful. But now I'm like, I kind of need the blue. It has this like really puffy kind of rouged sleeves. They're really long sleeves as well, which I love. It always makes it look a little bit more elegant. It is completely open at the back with this little tie. But because the tie drops down quite low, I don't feel like your whole back feels like it's on show. It's a really nice length. It's kind of short on me but I'm five foot eight so I don't think if you are of average height that it's going to be too short whatsoever and even if you are my height and taller like I think you can definitely get away with it because it's an amazing dress so that is from Lorna Lux and In The Style and I bought that myself moving on to some gifted pieces from River Island which is the absolute dream for me because River Island are in my top three favorite brands fashion brands of all time I absolutely love them always have this cold is just, I was going to say the best thing that's ever happened to me, which I feel like is dramatic, but it probably is. This cold is a mustard, beautiful, beautiful jacket. Oh my God, I didn't even realise that the back has these amazing like button details. This is a really cropped jacket, which I think would look perfect over little tea dresses and some boots. That would be such a nice combo. Um, but this is the jacket. It's got a bit of fluff on there this is jacket really beautiful um stitch material stitch detail here i absolutely love the color the buttons are they're kind of like a silvery gold very kind of muted just classy looking amazing jacket i love that so much and paired with the shorts which are probably my favorite pair of shorts that i've worn in a hell of a long time they are kind of they're denim but they're like paper bag style with this top part here they roll up here as well they are quite short i'm personally all about it <laughs> of course i am and they have the belt part here which just ties up rather than being an actual belt but this together is just the dreamiest combo so i absolutely love that and then i have this camo dress which i think is so bloody cool probably not on me because i'm not a very cool person but i feel cool when i'm wearing it which is all that matters so this dress buttons all the way down um has a really beautiful like tortoiseshell button pattern is that a thing no as i've said i'm quite tall and this is a nice length on me so to be totally honest, I wouldn't have minded it just a little bit shorter, but I think it's a really nice option. It's so thick and well made and just looks incredible. So I absolutely love that. And then finally, they did also um, give me some amazing sandals, which is in a picture, um, which I'll flash up wearing this. They're absolutely amazing. But this to me is the highlight. I just love this jumpsuit so much. It's brown, which I barely have any of in my wardrobe. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that my wardrobe is very colourful. And then sometimes I go for like a black and white, neutral, semi sophisticated look. So this is very not me. I'm sure there's better English than that. But 
we're going with that i love it it has unusual sleeves usually i wouldn't go for this kind of thing but i actually found that they're really really flattering um they kind of don't really come past here it cuts off around here um super wide sleeve again it has the same sort of stitch detail that the play suit or co-ord has which i think just makes it look a little bit more expensive the material is amazing it belts in here which just completely like cinches you in um, and then it goes all the way down and it's just the most beautiful amazing cut i love it so much then i have this which was from nasty gal I always feel like a bit of a bellend saying Nasty Gal, but it's not Nasty Gal, is it? It's literally Nasty Gal. This t-shirt I love. I love a good like rock and roll sort of band tee, not really a band tee. It says fast and... no it doesn't. It says fire and fury, which to be honest means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> but I love the t-shirt and I think it looks super cool tucked into some jeans. I think it'd also look amazing tucked into some denim cut-offs in the summer. Um, I wore this with a blazer over the top and um, some leather trousers the other day and I felt like my coolest, most rock and roll version of me, which, you know, personally I am all, all about. And then in total opposite vibes, I picked up this jumper from Monkey. Was it from Monkey? I think it was. Um, you guys know I love slogan anything, slogan jumpers, slogan tea, especially colourful ones. So I saw this, it says dreamy and it is bloody dreamy. It's so soft, it's quite thin but it's that like really soft thin material which to be honest doesn't really narrow it down or explain it very well at all but I love this. I do, I do wear it out and about but I also think it's really nice to just like snuggle up at home in something like this and then talking of snuggling and generally just being the most comfortable humans alive I picked up some like loungy tracksuit wear from Nasty Gal. I don't own anything like this but this tracksuit in particular it's giving me so much like Sophia and Chintzia vibes and just basically makes me feel cool for the first time in my entire life. The is a hoodie, it's quite cropped, it definitely does, even with these which come up quite high, it definitely shows off a bit of belly button which I'm a bit like, I mean I've got nothing against my belly button but I just think it's a little bit weird flashing it every now and then. Um, but it's so comfy and would be the perfect, perfect travel outfit. So this is the hoodie has a nice hood at the back, would you believe, being a hoodie. A little, is this a drawstring even though it's up the top? I don't know. But I love this and it's, I think the colour is called oatmeal. And then the tracksuit bottoms are like the real hero, I feel like, because they're like tight fitted, knitted trackies. And they feel divine and they're super comfortable. And I basically don't really want to wear anything other than this for the rest of my life, really. Apart from, I may occasionally switch out for this tracksuit sort of um, three quarter length bizarre ensemble that I've picked myself up here. This is possibly the most comfortable thing that I've ever worn, this little combo. The hoodie, again, it's like a really beautiful, it's not really a sage green, it's like a, a teal, sagey, forest combination. But it is so comfortable. It's very sort of baggy and oversized and I think they call this like bat wing. They probably don't, I've made that up, but they do call this a name. It's very kind of baggy and oversized and drapey. It feels really drapey when you're wearing it, just like this top, which I think has been flashing bra the whole time I've been talking, but we're all friends here. And then the bottoms are kind of very flared three quarter lengths, but they are so comfortable so comfortable um they look like where's the front bit they look like this um they are just the widest things ever but i'll try them on and show you because i this is not doing it justice at all and i actually think it's the perfect like i want to feel like a like i'm being hugged from hagrid all the time but also not like i've gone out in my pajamas then I have, oh my god, I have the most random things ever. I have this t-shirt, it says, good morning sunshine, which I think is so cute. I'm really into yellow at the moment, in case you couldn't tell. I love the orange detail as well around here, and it is the softest, softest material. This 
it's from Brave Soul, but I think I ordered it from Nasty Girl as well. Um, oh my god, it is just so soft and divine, and I cannot wait to wear this, especially with a tan. I feel like it will look really nice with a tan, so that is beautiful. And then I picked... Oh! <laughs> some Bridget Jones sneakers up, apparently. I know what these are. Monkey do really nice, comfortable underwear. I'm mildly embarrassed. Basically, these are like the really high-waisted cool knickers but without the like cute little triangle bra it literally just looks like I'm 80 years old wearing my nan's knickers. I had somewhere, here it is, this beautiful, beautiful mesh top. This is literally just a plain black very see-through top. I feel like I'll wear it with maybe some red lacy underwear that looks really nice or like a bralette so you're a bit more covered or just black but I think that this would be quite nice either with some jeans tucked in and some nice shoes for like a cute little date night or you could wear it with a skirt and dress it up a little bit and wear it on a night out but I think this is a really cool piece and I don't have anything like it so I wanted it. Going in with another gifted item. This was so kindly gifted from Zatchel's and it's like hidden under a thousand things. Oh, also just very, very quickly, these are also from Nasty Girl. I haven't worn them yet, although I have tried them on and they're extremely comfortable. They're just a plain jogger in a really lovely sort of creamy beige colour. Yeah. I think that's creamy beige. Back to the bag. This is from Zatchel's and it is the most unusual but amazing, like, it looks very lime green on camera, although kind of out and about in real life and in person it's a bit more of a mustardy greeny yellow i mean it's still mostly just green i think it's really really beautiful it's quite big like to me it looks like a camera bag almost and you can just fit so much stuff it's rattling around because i have a random camera lens a deodorant and none other than three of the i think it's the icons charlotte tilbury lips and i'm not being funny but can you tell the kind of vibe that I generally go for on a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> oh, it's mildly embarrassing. I was kindly gifted it and I have used it every day since I've had it for the last three weeks, a month. It just fits so much stuff in. It kind of goes with everything because it's the perfect kind of clashing colour. And yeah, I really, really love it. It feels beautiful. The leather is so soft. It's just such a well-made kind of well-structured boxy bag really good for traveling because you can fit a thousand things in and it sort of just like sits in a good position okay i have some shoes and then i have a huge amount of primark stuff okay so i have three pairs of shoes and then i have a huge huge bag of primark stuff i mean ridiculous Initially, I was going to include everything in one video, however, this video is going to be about an hour long because there's so much stuff in there. I wasn't going to do an individual Primark video because I feel like I only did one not that long ago. So let me know if you would like to see a whole separate video because, I don't know, maybe you want to see that. I know I have a lot of Primark fans on here. If you do, please comment below. If you don't, be nice still. Okay. I am going to finish off with the shoes because otherwise we really are going to be here for a million years. These are the prettiest ugly trainers that I've ever seen. They are from Head Over Hills, which are um, like a company, a, are they a sister company? No, nope, that's not what they're called. They are a kind of division off of June shoes. I love June. I have so many pairs of their shoes and wear them to death. They very kindly asked if I would like anything and basically I wanted their whole website. Um, these are just amazing. They are pink and grey with the classic leopard print, um, print, and then a kind of grey leopard print. And I just basically feel like if I was a trainer, I'd be these. We're also from Head Over Heels, possibly one of my favourite pieces that enter my wardrobe in a million years. Look at these pink cowboy boots. I'm sorry, but are they the most amazing thing ever? I think they might be. These are from Head Over Heels. They are so soft, so comfortable. Um, I got my usual size and I feel like they're slightly roomy, so maybe size down i don't know if they do half sizes because if they did i'd say go half size down but 
they are just amazing. Cowboy boots are a real trend at the moment. I don't really follow trends. I'm a cowboy boot kind of girl all all life round to be totally honest with you but I saw these and just thought that they were absolutely incredible. I have a similar pair from I think Aldo in black which I love and wear all the time. I have a pair in white and I just felt like these kind of dusky nude pink ones were just going to be the final pair to finish off my shoe wardrobe which is not a thing and also a lie because <laughs> I love shoes. Again oh, I feel like a lot of this has been gifted and I didn't want it to be that way. I was also going to include a hell of a lot of Primark stuff. Obviously, none of that was gifted. So the vast majority of this video would have been ungifted. However, now I feel like there's quite a few gifted pieces. I hope you don't mind. If you do, and that's not what you want to see, let me know in the comments below. But I wanted to show you them because they're just amazing. And I don't always, always feature everything that I have on Instagram because there's only a certain amount of pictures that you can post before you bore your entire audience. So um, let me know if you don't want to see gifted pieces, but I thought it'd be really nice for you to see those pieces. How many times can you say pieces in one video? Finally, from Emu Australia, these kind of slider sandal woven pieces of heaven. Emu Australia boots, shoes, everything are always the most comfortable thing you will ever wear. They are so incredibly well made. The price, like they are pricier than your average shoe on the high street, um, but the quality really, really does reflect that. I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person that in the summer I buy so many sandals, mostly from Primark, all different styles, and then I find one that I manage to break in because personally I just find all sandals absolutely mutilate my feet until I've broken one pair in and then I just wear the same pair all summer long. Like no matter how many pairs I have, I just stick with the same ones and I feel like these are 100% going to be the pair that I wear all the time. They're so classic. This is like a almost like an off-white colour but I just love them and this, the sole, is so comfy, it's like walking on clouds. But yeah, I really really love these, they're so well made, they are quite stiff so I've actually been wearing them around the house to so just like try and break them up a little bit. But they are the most beautiful sandal and they go with everything, they look amazing with tea dresses, jeans, shorts, basically just absolutely everything. So I love these, thank you so much Emu Australia, I'm gonna wear them to death. And I'm gonna wrap this up here because I've been talking for a long time and in true L style, I only have a few minutes left on my camera. I don't know how long I'm gonna to have to be on YouTube before I actually figure out that I need to clear space on my memory card before I start filming, but hopefully it's not too far away. <laughs> I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Everything that is still available will be linked up below. Let me know what your favorite piece is. Let me know your thoughts on gifted items if you don't wanna see them in future videos, that's absolutely fine. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. If you do subscribe, if you are already subscribed, then I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.